So hello everyone. And this crisis we are going through is also an opportunity to shape our own economy in the future, how we are dealing with the current situation that will help us to think about the future's economy, especially in the field of tourism. Today we are focusing on Spain. Spain, which has been known for its tourism and the tourism business. Now we are going to focus on how Spain is handling the situation, especially in terms of developing and maintaining the tourism business in the post pandemic. So here we are welcoming His Excellency. Hello, yeah. thank you very much uh, for being here. So here we are, uh, we are trying to understand how the situation is in Spain as a whole. If you talk about the people coming in or just you are trying to have the measures from the government side, how they are trying to build the confidence. That is more important because if unless you don't have the confidence, you are not going to attract the tourists. Yeah. Uh, they are apprehensive about different issues, especially in this current situation. Yes, uh, first of all, in Spain, the measures uh, for the travelers are not so tough as in other countries, not because we are irresponsible, it's because we have very good health system and very good system to track the virus. So we are very confident in the, in the uh, people traveling to Spain will be safe and uh, we have en enough measures in the, in the point of origin to go to Spain in order to be sure that they, they arrive to Spain uh, in a good condition for a, a health uh, point of view. So uh, we are not so tough as other countries in, in this sense. But I insist, uh, it's not because we are we don't care about the virus. We care a lot, but we have a very good system to to be aware when the virus arrived to Spain and and how to to deal with it. At the same time, the situation is uh, as in another European in the other European countries. Uh, this new variant is is a very very different one because. Uh, this variant is spread very quickly, but at the same time, the effects are not so bad as uh, the others. Uh, vaccination uh, make a, makes a, a great difference. So we have more or less 90% of the people in Spain is, is vaccinated with two doses and an increasing number of people with the third dose. And we're also vaccinating the, the child and the, the young, more the youngest. So uh, we are fully aware that we have to pay attention, but at the same time, we feel very confident uh, about the possibility of handle this situation in a different way uh, as, as before. Before, when the virus arrives to our lives, nobody knows how to to solve the, 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 the problems. Now we, we have an experience and we are trying to do our best in order to assure all people coming to Spain that uh, the situation is good for them and, and the situation is also good for, for us living there. Yeah, so recently we have uh, received one notice from CDS like you, that uh, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention that they have uh, put the eight countries on high risk list. Yeah. Uh, in that, Europe was also covered, and most of the African countries were covered, and the Britain yeah. was covered. So, after that, how the things, because you have taken measures in the past, seeing those two waves, yeah. but suddenly it has Omega after Omicron involvement, that there is lots of apprehensions and the government, and how you are changing your own policy and to take more and more precautions that you know to save, to have the safeguards for the travelers. Yes, uh, first of all, we have to, to do a difference because uh, Europe, and we are very happy to be treated as an unity because we are European Union, but sometimes the, the situation in, in different countries are not the same. Uh, I insist we, we accept our, and we, we defend our, our belonging to, to, uh, to a European Union, uh, and in consequence, we, we are very happy to be treated as an unity, but you have to pay attention also that the differences are important. It's uh, the same thing in, as in India. So it's not the, the, the situation in Delhi or in Maharashtra or in Kerala are not the same, but you are treated as a unity. So this is a, an important point. At the same time, we are trying to, to coordinate all the measures in, in Europe, in the whole Europe. 
uh, because it's important to know that once you enter in Spain or in other countries, you have the possibility of going to uh, all the European countries, and it's very important for us to be coordinated in order not to have differences in, in our approach to the to the virus. So uh, I understand quite well the the, the putting Spain in a risk, a level of risk, which is not not easy to to to, to handle to travel there. But um, I assure you that uh, the measures in Spain uh, are enough to be sure that travelers there are, are safe and, and we also are safe. So uh, uh, I understand because uh, it's, it's important to know and to respect the decision, but uh, not to, to, uh, to create a, an anger or, or, or a or a fear about the, the situation in Spain. Data are important, but uh, it's important to, to say that these figures about pandemia is because we have the possibility of tracking very accurately which is the situation of the virus and not because the situation is out of hand or, or, or impossible to handle. This is a very important difference also. So you talked about that uh, very minute tracking, a very depth you know, monitoring system that we have developed. Yeah. From there, from the uncertainty to the sustainability, if you talk. Yeah. You know, because this is a situation we are uncertain about the things that what is how it is going to move. Yeah. But Spain has been known for creating the sustainable and innovative model of uh, tourism. Yeah. So how does that policy that has been evolved to create a sustainable tourism is this affected due to this restriction or is still going on the same pace as it was planned? Yes, I think it's, we have to, to approach this, uh, this new idea of tourism in a, in a broader uh, view. Because it's not only because of the pandemic or, or we are trying to change to another model of tourism. It's because we want to offer a huge range of, of uh, possibilities of, of all the, the reasons for visiting Spain. So at the beginning, we were only a country of uh, beaches and sun. Now we have put in, uh, in, in the first uh, range uh, uh, culture also. We, we have um, uh, several museums in the world which are the most important, Picasso, Miro, and, and others. Uh, some uh, European institutions, uh, for instance, uh, Centre Pompidou in France is opening uh, extensions in, in, in Spain. So uh, the sustainability of tourism is not only because of pandemia, of the restriction, it's because we have to offer a, 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 a vast range, range of, 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 of possibilities to, for, for tourists to, to come into Spain. So sometimes it's very good to have uh, this uh, beach and sun tourism, but we have uh, other things, gastronomy, we have culture in the, in the more uh, restrictive uh, sense, uh, uh, theater, opera, and uh, museums, and painters, and all these things. And at the same time, if you have this approach, uh, you, you are uh, getting more people involved in the, in the, in the in the tourism as a phenomenon and uh, yeah. not to concentrate only in the coast or in, in some per parts of Spain. So the, the huge country is ready to receive tourists um, and in this sense is more sustainable. Mr. Ambassador, can you elaborate the new strategy of sustainable tourism for 2030 that the government has adopted? Can you elaborate on those points that what are the key points that you know in the strategy? to reach in, uh, for 2030. Yeah. yeah, I think it's important that to take into account that uh, we are in a pandemic. So uh, sometimes uh, to, to think very far away is not to pay attention to the real situation. So the, the ideas have not changed. So we, we want a, a very huge range of, of um, offer to tourists, uh, safe and uh, from a, a health point of view. 
but at, at the same time we we want people to to uh, to know that Spain is not only these stereotypes we have had in the past. So that's why we insist in in these cultural aspects, these astronomy aspects that uh, uh, landscapes and uh, and uh, environment and, and these other things. So in this sense, tourism is not different. It's not uh, it's not an isolated case for the approach of the government uh, to the whole development of the country. So we are engaged with the environment. We are engaged with uh, a culture. With a, we're, we're engaged with uh, some sort of of, uh, of uh, new idea of Spain, projecting a new image of Spain. We have um, marvelous research in the scientific uh, research. We have uh, marvelous uh, literature. We have all these things, and uh, the government has tried to to put these things uh, in the in the in the first stage. So. Uh, Tourism is not is not different from this. You talked about the environment. That is very very critical at this point of time, especially after the Glasgow summit in UK. Yeah. So that uh, and we have heard some news of drought also from Spain. Some yeah. part of areas some drought and the level of the reservoir of water that is going down and some issues were there. So what were the reason that uh, we are facing those situation? How it is not being controlled? Because especially in the developed countries. They have to take measures, uh, on a severe measures. Yeah, it, it, we must do a difference once again. So we have drought, but we ha we don't have problem of water. So uh, one of the idea of the development in Spain is just precisely to have the, the means and to have the, the the tools in order to solve all the situations. So you are uh, we are aware that in some part of Spain there is a desert. It's not it's not a, a a forest, so we have a, a, a huge variety of of, uh, of, uh, of landscapes and, and realities, uh, geographical realities. But which is more important is, since the, more or less the democracy came to Spain, uh, one of the most important idea of the, uh, the successive governments was to to solve these situations. When I was a child, a draft means problems of water. Now, not at all. So you have this situation, but you have the means to solve this situation. So there is no cut of water in, 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 any, in any city in Spain, no restrictions, not at all. So it's only to, to know that the situation is produced, but we have the means to, to solve it. We have seen the phenomena in the whole world. You know, people yeah. are migrating from the rural area to the urban areas. Uh, there is the opportunity of village tourism as well. Yeah. So is Spain also looking for those potential area where the villages tourism can be developed or can be explored to attract the tourists from across the world? Yeah, we have done a lot because uh, precisely for the model of development we have uh, in Spain in the past, uh, the central part of Spain uh, is not very. There are no, no so much people. So uh, there are uh, villages where it has been abandoned, and uh, there is no people at all. And uh, the government decided to promote not only tourism but also development in these areas because uh, population is very concentrated in the in the coast and in the big cities. And we have a huge amount of of, of uh, villages and landscapes and, and areas, rural areas, to be developed, not only as a as a as a destination for tourism, but also as a as a tool to develop the country. So the this government has invested a lot in order to promote these areas, uh, which have everything. So they don't have problem of. Uh, Water restrictions and the the health system uh, is present. So uh, the only thing is to to create the, the the conviction that you can go to these places for tourism or to live there. 
because with the uh, online work, uh, these areas are being people are going again to these areas in order to work because it's easier and they are very comfortable. They are very, uh, very attractive to live in, not only to go as tourists, but very attractive to live in. So uh, this part of the, 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 the promotion of the, this uh, geographical part of Spain is, is in, the, in the plan, uh, the plan of, the, of the government. The healthcare system that is very, very critical at this point of time. Yeah. You have seen in the past that more, suddenly all the countries, they have the healthcare system it was collapsed. So how we are capable to deal with such kind of crisis? Are we ready really? Or we are just at the same point that we, we, we are in last year? Yes, at least for Spain is not the same situation as before uh, because we have experience. We, we had the, the same system, but now we have the experience because at the beginning we didn't know that the virus was the virus. So it was something like a a very serious cold or something like this, but now we we recognize the virus, we have the possibility of tracking the virus, and we have a strategy to to uh, to prevent people of, of uh, uh, getting infected, but at the same time, when they are infected, there are several levels of, of sanitary levels in order not to collapse the the, 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 the hospital for the more serious cases. So. Now there is a huge pressure in Spain with Omicron variant, but at the end, uh, the only system which is under pressure is the primary primary system, not hospitals with the, uh, the unit of, of intensive care and, and this thing. So they don't have problem at all because they are trying to, to, to apply a strategy in which there are several levels and only the first level of this strategy is now under pressure not uh, not collapse but under pressure but we have all the levels to 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 handle the the virus and the on the effects of the virus so in this sense we we are not happy because the situation is complicated for for all but we are satisfied with the experience we had and the, the result of uh, applying this experience and the, uh, the strategy we have decided to apply. We have seen that after Brexit, especially, yeah. export business has been affected, especially for us being. Now, after Brexit, Morocco is taking advantage of taking that space. How it is difficult to bring, bring back that same economy through the export business? Is it really difficult or it is very challenging in the future to bring the same pace in the export business? Yeah, I don't think that Brexit uh, has affected Spain especially. So the first uh, country affected is Great Britain. So, is the, 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 so the, the, the worst effects was for the people who have, have decided to go out from the European Union. So um, this is the first point. The second point is that the result in Spain from the economical point of view is not so bad because uh, sometimes we don't, we are not very aware in Spain that the political debate, internal political debate is reflecting outside. So in this moment, uh, as in, in other countries, the, the debate is very tough the political debate because the, 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 the crisis of the pandemic uh, lied the spirits. <laughs> but uh, the situation is not as bad as the internal debate used to say. So uh, our deputy prime minister, for instance, has been elected to FNE to, 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 uh, to tackle with some important issues of the uh, international economy. So it's impossible to think about this if the result of a country and the result of the responsibility of this uh, deputy prime minister, Nadia Calviño, were so bad. No, it's not, 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 not at all. And uh, with uh, the situation of Morocco, it is uh, true that uh, relations of Spain with Morocco are not in, the, in, the, in a very good moment. But uh, it's not because of the Brexit and not because of the economic situation. So there are political reasons. 
uh, international political reasons. So it was an American initiative about Sahara and, and recognition of Palestinian situation and Israel that uh, in principle, uh, Morocco thought that uh, it was important for them to take this opportunity. So for Spain, it's not easy because uh, we respect the, the international law and um, it's, uh, it's not clear that the American initiative, uh, Trump's, President Trump's initiative, is very uh, respectful with the nation, United Nations, uh, resolutions and these things. So uh, Morocco think that uh, is uh, perhaps that uh, we don't want to to go ahead. We want to be to go ahead, but inside international law, United States, we are which are also involved in this situation uh, of Biden's administration, President Biden's administration, is in the same position. Of uh, as us. So uh, I don't think that Morocco is taking advantage of the situation because the situation is not to take advantage of. So it's another thing, it's a political issue. Uh, we, we would like to solve, we are ready to solve because we we feel very close to, to Moroccan people, to, to Moroccan uh, culture and everything. So it's not, it's a little bit sad for us to have this political situation, but we are convinced we will solve it and it will be in the mutual interest of Morocco and, and Spain. Yeah, I think it's good that you highlight lots of positive aspects of the health environment, lots of things we have discussed. Now at the end, we are just going through the wave three of pandemic yeah. and we are preparing for the Madrid Tourism Festival as well. Yeah. Because at the same time, we are apprehensive about the situation is coming in the next two months or one month. Yeah. But we, that is the biggest market for all Latin Americans. Yeah. So how you will see that? Is it possible or we are taking extra measures to to have that kind of festival with the safeguard? So uh, I think it's a little bit risky to, to, to speak now about February because uh, I insist the, the behavior of the virus in South Africa is uh, perhaps an example, we all hope that will be an example. So the increase is very quick, but at the same time, the decrease of the, the, the infections are also very quick. So perhaps it was the same model for the rest of the country, we don't know. So it's a little bit risky to think about February. The only thing I can say that the, the engagement of the all of agents involved in the preparation of this event is strong uh, and I am sure that will be a, a success because if we have the possibility of having this event presentially, it will be a success. But even if we have to do something online or something or another way, it will be a success because all the time we pass uh, with lockdowns, with uh, fear, with uh, this situation because of the pandemics are fueling a new age for tourism, a new desire of visiting our countries to, vi to visit to each other. And uh, online or presentially, I am sure that we will put the foundations to, to have a very important increase of tourism, safer, uh, they have great uh, amount of travel because we desire, we all as citizens, as individuals, we want to, to, to restart to travel, to, to know each other and to, to know our respective countries. So I'm sure that will be a great success in another way, in a way or another. Thank you so much, Ambassador. It is nice talking to you and we have discussed a lot about the how the positivity is still prevailing, in the, especially in the time of COVID. So we are expecting that another round of discussion with a different country and different perspective. And thank you so much for watching.